This Monday, November 7th, will be the 22nd anniversary of our last deathless day on Texas highways. TxDOT is asking for your help to end the streak of daily fatalities on its roads. TxDOT's Jennifer Wright is here. And Jennifer, why are you asking the public to help end the streak? Well, first, we have to acknowledge that since November 7, 2020, we've seen an average of 10 people per day die in crashes, and the vast majority of them are preventable. Preventable how? Well, we've talked many times about the leading causes of fatal crashes, speeding, weaving, distracted driving, not wearing seat belts, and driving under the influence. All of these are bad behaviors drivers can change. Now, I notice you call them crashes and not accidents. That's right. An accident is something that's out of our control. Fatal crashes are almost always caused by bad choices and behaviors. We have to start thinking of them this way. All right, so put into perspective how many lives have been lost to crashes over the past 22 years. The total is a staggering 79,000 people. That's comparable to 18 airliners full of people crashing per year every year over the past 22 years or about three quarters of the population of Las Cruces. It's a shocking loss of life. Every year, an average of 3,700 loved ones are taken from families, and last year it was up to 4,500 mothers, sons, fathers, daughters, friends, needlessly lost on roadways, which is an average of 12 deaths per day. All right, so what is TxDOT doing about it? Well, we can't get behind the wheel with you, but we work to educate, engineer, enforce, and we're asking for people's empathy now. We engineer safer roads by adding safety lighting, barrier, raised medians, and even changing intersection configurations. We educate with our safety campaigns and try adding a little humor where appropriate. We have grants that can pay for extra patrolling by law enforcement, but we want people to think about the losses families are suffering and alter their behavior behind the wheel. That's the empathy. Make sure you're not rushing, you, you and everyone in your car is buckled up, obey the rules of the road, and don't drive distracted or under the influence. Together we can end the streak, and together is the only way. Well, empathy might be the key. You can certainly try to be the driver that you'd want driving alongside you on the roadways. Exactly. All right, what do we have to look forward to in terms of next week's closures? Well, Loop 375 widening will close the main lanes of America's Highway overnight, northbound Sunday through Thursday from Saragossa to North Loop and the North Loop Interchange, all starting at 9 on Sunday, and Monday the Pan American Interchange will be closed. Fall repair will require alternate lane closures overnight Monday on I-10 East from Schuster to Porfirio Diaz, and Tuesday alternate lane closures overnight on I-10 East from Geronimo to Airway, Wednesday night, US 54 North between Fred Wilson and Broadus will have the overnight alternating lane closures. All right, Jennifer Wright with TxDOT as always. Thanks much. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Mark.